it says in the account of Samuel the prophet, when Saul, the day before he was killed in battle, went to the witch of Endor, yeah. okay, which, does anybody know um, uh, the name of the mother of Samantha and Bewitched? Endora. Endora. That's where it comes from, from the account in the Bible. Endora. Endora. Ikavoyachi. Uh. Anyway, that was fun. That the, uh, the son said that to her. I'm going to tear out your eyes. Anyway, um, uh, the witch of Endor raised the spirit of Samuel. He spoke to them, yep. he heard them, and he uh, saw them. And yet he was a spirit. He's identified twice as a disembodied spirit in that one passage. So no, we do not get an interim body. No. It says, absent from the body, present with the Lord. Yep. Our soul is secure with the Lord until the Lord comes, and then we will be reunited with the body. So it's not something to argue with, but the reason why I take this so personally is because I spoke at a friend's funeral up in North Carolina, and I, I said that. And then the pastor came, and he shut down everything I said using that passage, and he says, it's not true. And he, I'm like, you know, it, it was for me it was personally embarrassing because I didn't have a chance to defend myself. Sure. And second, he was completely wrong on his premise. He, he, he was completely wrong, but he had been told somewhere along the line that Paul saw and he heard things, and so this guy has a body, and the, bo the Bible does not teach that. We are waiting for a new body. Okay, so anyway, keep yeah, that in mind. Are. Yeah, we are, and we will get one. And the good thing is that if we are alive and the Lord comes today, we don't have to go through that middle part. We just get straight into a new body, which is... <laughs> But there is a downside. What is the downside? we got a minute. We might as well not get too, too much into this because we've only got one chapter left. What is the downside of being left until the coming of the Lord? No, 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 no. Because rapture is going to happen. We are going to be raptured before that. What is the downside of that? I'm going to read you. Say it again. What is the downside of not dying first? What is the downside of not dying first? In other words, the guy... The dead will rise first. There you go. The dead will rise first. And I say this every time that somebody dies. I say, this person now has the honor of seeing the Lord before you will. But that's because but they have be. further to go. But that's true. They have further to go. But they have, they have the honor of hearing that trumpet and seeing the Lord. I don't care if it's one second. That one second for all of eternity. Yeah. It will be worth it. So I don't care if I die tomorrow; it makes no difference it's to me. To oh, it's going to be in the blink of an eye. Twinkling of an eye. No, we're not going to know the difference, but they will. They will be raised first. The dead will be raised, and then we will be raised with them or changed. It says we will be changed. They will not. It will be right after, but it doesn't matter if it's one millisecond. I would rather see the Jesus, see Jesus for one millisecond than hang around here in this painful body. I, that's me. I just The rapture is a great thought, and if I'm here when it happens, bonus, okay? But if I die, I, I've told Hidako a couple days ago, if I die doing something stupid like getting my beard caught in a hammer drill again, don't mourn me at all. I am, I am perfectly content with dying before the Lord comes. Perfectly content with it. Morning is really our selfish. It is. That's all it is. Yeah. Well, it, it's selfish yeah. if the person is a believer in the Lord. Right. Yes. If not, it then it, it, it's there's right. there's. Can't help. Them. Oh, that's but right. We miss some. Connection. There's that can't help it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Grieve over the loss. That's right. Okay, so we are. We got five more minutes. Um. Uh, three. In volume three. Okay. Three. Now forty days required for it such as the period required for embalming. And the Egyptians wept for him 70 days. Okay. And, and that, you know, that sounds almost like a national mourning, the Egyptians. This is the father of Joseph the second in Israel. So, you know, we have the, the lowered flag for 30 days when a congressman yeah. dies or whatever. It's almost what it sounds like. I, I, I don't know if that's the case, but that's the way I read that there is that Egyptians, the nation of Egypt was mourning for the father of their second in command. Okay. And when the days of mourning for him were past, Joseph spoke to the household of Pharaoh, saying, If now I have found favor in your sight, please speak to Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Behold, I am about to die. In my grave, which I dug for myself in the land of Canaan, there you shall bury me. Now, therefore, please let me go up and bury my father, then I will return. 
And Pharaoh said, Go up and bury your father. Okay, so we're going to stop there because it's verse 7. It's a new chapter. But uh, what he did is Joseph spoke to the household of Pharaoh. Instead of going directly to the Pharaoh, and he had total authority. All he had to do was just go in there. It seems like he was following like a protocol. You know what I mean? It, it, I, I don't know what it is. I've never read any commentaries on that. But it seems like he is following a protocol because of the issue at hand and not because he's not allowed access into Pharaoh's throne. He's obviously allowed complete access. He's got a signet ring. He has all of the authority of him. But there's it's something, it, it, it may be humble, it may be saying that this is so important to me that I don't even want to come into your presence to ask it, all right? This is something I don't want you to refuse me, which he wouldn't have anyway. Yes? As in every society, there's cer ceremonial protocol. Right, right, that's exactly right. And that's, I'm sure that's what's going on. And I, there's probably some commentary, one of these people that has studied Egyptian uh, formalities and I bet you there was something in there that I just simply don't know about but that's just me looking at that and saying he had every right to go in there and ask it but he is following a protocol and so anyway all right who wants to close us in prayer today